<coughs> yeah, though. Yeah, see. Yeah, I'm for my taste. Rajko se ta druga kamera ukasila? Ja. I'm old, you know, and it's been a while since I did lives on those two cameras and now I don't know what is going on. Hope that everything will be okay now. <laughs> Lin, thank you. I don't. Uh, it's kind of, hello Vicky, it's kind of, you know, because those mics that are for here, you know, it's all okay when you are talking and, you know, do beauty videos maybe or just some talking, it's okay, but if you are pouring, you know, you are like that and you breathe into those mics, they do all these equipments, lights, everything just for, you know, people who are like that, but for us pouring people everything is different, everything is messy, everything is different, so hello to Germany, Petra, hello Maria, Laura, Pamela, Dragonfly, Critics. so hello to Wisconsin, Cheryl, hello Royal River Art, Donna, hello everyone. So first, I will not do flowers. <laughs> I thought to do flower dips again, but I just had this in my head and I want to do it. Maybe it's not a good idea to do an experiment again on live video, but that's how it is. In fluid art, you never know, and I'm willing to try different things live, risking that it will not turn out nice, but 
You never know. I love this surprise element in fluid art, always. That, that is the thing that um, drives me on, you know, because you never know. And with reverse flower dips, normally I get the result that I want. That's why I will teach this on PoolCon for those who doesn't know. I'm coming to States, in Vegas, in August, on PoolCon. It will be a blast to meet all 22 artists, meet all the people that are already signed on my classes. It will be amazing. Hope I, I will survive the flight. Everything else will be okay. Hello, Amanda. Um, so maybe I should focus more on flowers, but today not. Today I have kind of a plan to do an open cup with all those beautiful colors that I will tell you which they are. I mix them just with my pouring medium uh, and I will use my magic spray. I know that I have to talk a little bit about silicone oil, cells from silicone oil. When I start started with acrylic pouring about, what is that, like four or five years already? I don't know. Four or five years ago I started with acrylic pouring yeah. and um, cells and silicone oil was the, at that time, you know, in. Raiko de prosno gas and glass. Okay. I'm talking about silicone oil. So, cells, you can get cells just, you know, from density of paint with um, kind of 24K gold create cells. Lacing cells, different thing. I. Today I will first do an open cup and I will add a little bit of few drops of um, the Bayo silicone oil into my uh, spray bottle where I have my pouring medium. This is just pouring medium. You can use Floetrol if you use Floetrol as your pouring medium for other colors, maybe. It would be interesting sometimes to, I don't know, use um, different pouring medium for the colors and a little bit of maybe Floetrol or even Australian Floetrol or Liquitex pouring medium or other pouring medium with silicone oil and spray it on, on the painting when you do your painting. And maybe it will create some different results. That's why I like to experiment because it's so many things. You you just I don't know. It's endless. Just imagination and try. Um, so <laughs> where was I? So uh, today I have a plan to do an open cup. Uh, with those colors and then spray it with this magic spray. I didn't add silicone yet. I have this from the gloves on because I realized my first one that I used kind of <laughs> I ruined it because I left uh, my pouring medium probably it was here when the, the thing sprays out and it was you know ruined. So I have a new one um, and then I will add some pearl white, well, uh, not pearl white, Vallejo pearl medium to maybe three of those colors and we will do an open cup with that and we will see the difference that it will create some cells because just with the colors that some are opaque, some are, mm -hmm, some are not. Some are uh, transparent or semi-transparent. You can get some cell reaction and because we pour when we do open cup um, into the open cup and paint flows under paint. Okay. 
Подмерили. А, мадай не. Но вен за кай у мева. Just a second, I have to put my... Just a second, I have to put my... No, this is the voice. I just can't do it differently. I have just one mic, just... And it... Obviously, it, um, I get echo in this room or something, I don't know. Um, okay, back to the, the plan. So, we will see the difference if we spray this with... Um, magic spray and if we do it with pearl because if I mix Vallejo pearl medium into my colors it create lacing not cells lacing but we will see so I have titanium white I have maple yellow deep I have gold this is my nearly deep gold I have wow what is this uh, Thalo Green Light by Art Creation and I have Fluorescent Blue by Vallejo, I have Ultramarine Blue by Amsterdam, Ultramarine Violet by Amsterdam, Cardinal Red by Artist Colors and I have Black. And now I will just and here is about an ounce of a paint in on of pouring medium in my cup and I will add let's say one two three four five six let's add six drops of silicone oil into my spray bottle and I will mix that So this is the magic spray. Yes, I can add silicone to those paints, but when I do that, uh, my paints, normally I mix too much paint and then they stay, and I don't know if I like to use them again with silicone oil, but with this you, you don't need to add your silicone oil to the paint and when I spray it um, with a few, I think two um, paintings that I did, uh, they create it create really nice looking, nice looking cells that I like them. So I have oxide black mixed, and I'm working on 16 inch round canvas for the first one. Okay, here is my black. And I just cut this um, paper paper cup for my open cup. I don't know, I didn't find any of the plastic ones that big. I just have to be, I will start with white. Careful because I don't want to add too much colors. I just hope that and I'm pulling from up high. Oop. I hope to have those cups with leads and I kind of don't they are done not so good for this technique, I believe. So I will just pour paints into this black. Some of them. And I want to keep some negative space too. Hopefully, this is the plan. So I will go one row and then I will lift my cup a little bit and I dripped but it doesn't matter I just have to remember that I will put those away before I will spray my and 
I can see some cells already forming just from pouring paint into the cup. And my consistency is not thin. For open cups you normally use kind of a thin paint, but I didn't I didn't want to because I want to have nice cells. And if I will have my paints to thin, I think that they will not stay nicely shaped. So I'm hoping that this paint flows under black here and that when I will spray it, <gasps> didn't want to do that, but I did. I will have to correct that part somehow. Okay. Where are you floating? And I will end up with some black. I don't mind if I will have some black in the middle. Okay. I just don't know what to do with that part. With this blue here. I'll just try to, I don't know, do that. So now I will lift my cup. Okay. And I'm going for kind of galaxy look, so... And now I will spray this before I will... No. I will probably spin it a little bit first. You see? Already getting some cells. just from the density of paints and because some of them are opaque, some are transparent, so they create cells by their self too. I will cover my canvas and then I will spray. I don't mind if I will have some negative space too. Okay, so let's spray that now. And it is white, don't be afraid, but it dries transparent. that I will get some cells here in this black too, but obviously not. But you see, cells creating. And now I'm not sure about this middle part, what to do.
Just a second, I will just adjust the other camera a little bit now to be closer. Not only both the side also. Okay, so I, ju I adjust the other camera too. <clears throat> Those cells around, they are really cute, but this middle, this is always the thing with an open cup that I kind of don't like. And I don't know what to do with that middle, you know, because here colors kind of blend into each other but this this is just not what I like so I will just swipe with this cup a little bit oh try to spray here now something will happen now Oop. it's looking white again but it's not it will not be white nothing is popping through this black so black wasn't the best idea obviously tempted to dip it with the glove here and have flower here what do you think about that okay 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 no no but the whole thing is so tukle and crumble those cells are so cute and um, nicely shaped that I, I don't want to ruin them, but I will, I will dip here. Even if I do an open cup, I need to do a flower, so obviously this is my destiny let's do that still black Here, Raiko's minds already. <laughs> nah. Nah? Maybe. 
So it will be flowering space. Not a galaxy. Okay. don't want to lose those cells here, they are so cute. Just have to bring this a little more, that it will look like a part of the painting, something landed on the painting. Okay. Check the sides. They are covered as they are. Don't want to drip on. And now I'm just thinking Enough cells. <clears throat> I will show you the close up when I will do the second one. So I will just put this one aside and mix some pearl white to three of the paints just to clean my. If I don't look at this middle with the flower. It is something that I was going for. Maybe there will pop something through. Yeah, there will now. Okay. Just hope that it will not be black. What do we think? I like some cells so much. They are so cute. Um, or maybe I can like a not a group of they close up not be up. I will take you for a close up just a second that Raiko Lako that you will not get dizzy while I'm Sorry. Some blue that they know I created. Okay, just a second more. The trico goes back, and then I will show you the close up. Mamo? Mole? Look at those cells. Aren't they cute? I really think that you get really nice shaped cells with this technique. Look at those with those. Yeah, those are gold with Naples yellow and black. They are so interesting. Um, 
and they are different than chameleon cells because with chameleon cells when you do your you know you get oh totally to the top and you bring this color from the bottom out and i don't like that i like those much more and the flower here is now kind of part of the painting I'm not sure about this negative space this time, but I, I'm not sure if I want to spin it out more to... I will leave it like it is. So now, Raiko, I will ask you to switch my camera that I can bring the, this camera on. Okay, and I will put this one aside and do one with um, mixing some pearl medium into the paints and we will do the same and see what will happen. But I don't have this kind of canvas anymore, so I will use just <coughs> Sorry. another one. So you see, uh, because my can was, canvas was bigger than my spinner, I just put this with the plastic on to support it. That's how you can use bigger canvas. On these two, I have to wipe my hands a little bit. So, let's decide which I will put pearl white into the pearl medium, not pearl white, constantly talking pearl white, into the, this aqua kind of color. So I will pour some Vallejo pearl medium and a little bit of this aqua. And now I will not use aqua as my color, it will be pearl aqua. So I will just put this one aside that it will not bother me somehow. And I got this nice looking Rekona Unod Strani. Nice looking aqua color that maybe needs a little bit of water now to get it to consistency that my other colors are. Just a little more. And uh, I'm expecting some reaction from this pearls but definitely different than other did the first one so we have aqua let's do pearl white so again Vallejo I just eyeball this you know hello Linda some white, okay? Hola! Hola Linda! How is everything in Costa Rica? Probably the weather is better than here in 
Slovenia. We had rain today, but it was <coughs> nice looking weather. Uh, I use one uh, Sony <coughs> cameras that I use. One is Sony Z, I don't know which one, 4K. <laughs> And the other one is Nikon camera, I don't know which one. They are both covered with paint, that, that's what I know. And I think that I will mix this uh, ultramarine violet. Uh, Raiko is joking, Raiko is retired now. So he is home with me all day. We have a ton of projects. You know how it is when your husband is home all days. We see all kinds of stuff that he can do. But he's, he, he likes to do stuff around our house. Right? Raiko says, watch what you are doing, don't talk about this stuff. <laughs> um, but it's nice to have him around. You know, we have fun, we, we, we start cycling again now to lose some weight, hopefully <clears throat> before Vegas, <laughs> that I can even show up. In my bath, 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 bathing suit, or what is the word? So now I will use just this 12 inch canvas for this one. Okay? Uh, here in Slovenia, you have to work 40 years that you can get in retirement and Draco worked 41 years and now it's time for him to enjoy I think okay so let's do that shall we I will pour black again in the middle maybe I had too much black at first I don't know Maybe I will spin this out a bit. I just don't know. Sometimes, you know, there is no rules in fluid art. And this is something that I like to. I don't like rules. I like to be free. So I will start with some pearl white. And I dripped again. And some Naples yellow. Deep. And my canvas is smaller, so I have to have this in my head too. And some gold. We will see if something will happen at all. And some this pearl aqua. <gasps> Almost through my cup. Some fluorescent blue. Some ultramarine blues, okay. And some, I see some cells popping through and some of oh, this kind of lavender now because I have pearl white in it, pearl medium in it, not pearl white. I'm so used to my pearl white that I constantly saying pearl white. See cells. But they are different and when I will stretch this out, they will be different than the others. But let's see what will happen. Do you have any idea what to do in the middle before I will have this problem again? Like 
the first time. What to do with this in the middle? I watch ton of videos, you know, of open cup, but I know that I can just slide with paint, but sometimes I don't like that, how it looks, and I thought on my first painting that I will like that black in the middle, but I didn't. And I drip this. Let's leave it. I will pour a little bit of black on top, and now I will just... Try to, I don't know what. You see this part here? It just doesn't fit. And if I drag this, I kind of don't like because it goes to one way. Let me think. Uh, I will torch you while I'm thinking. Any idea, right? I have a idea. What to do here in the middle? Except dip it. What if I try finger, finger slide, <laughs> finger slide, let's do that. Whirlpool. Okay, let's leave that like it is. And now I will spin it out. And I went over to one side again just hard for me to keep things in the middle. So let me grab the pellet mark to cover this here. I will spin again. I just want to cover this. But first I will probably try to tilt it a little bit. I know that this doesn't match, but not so important at this point because I'm still in the middle of the process. So, you see, colors mixed with Vallejo Pearl Medium create lacing. This is lacing, not cells. Or just use this paint here drips to cover these sides and then I will work for the final composition we can fast forward in live videos it's different so you will have to bear with me if you want to see the result. One more and I'm done. I like to do this before I end up with the final result because I'm still tilting, you know, and you still lose some of this stuff. 
tilting or spinning or whatever you do. Okay. Okay. So, what I will do now, I kind of don't want to, to tilt because this Whirlpool thing here is kind of round now, but if I will tilt, I'm afraid that it will go wonky and I don't want that. So I will just do this and wow, and leave it. Okay, look. Torch, and then I will take it down for a close-up for this one. That I can show you the difference. And obviously you can get this effect with every color mixed with pearl medium. But it's good to be opaque. It, if it's opaque, right? Or now not a strands of the Yeah. Okay. Here comes the close-up. Awesome. So obviously a big difference. Yeah. Just a second. Bosha? Mm -hmm. No, yeah. Yeah, some Kushla Grigia Paul Kabin the Nordicha. My camera doesn't want to work with me. Just a second. Okay. Now it should be okay, yeah? Yeah, yeah? So you see, there is lacing for my taste. I wish that I would <laughs> have more blue, not so, so much pink here in the middle, but I didn't think about that when I layered my paints into the cup. You see pearl white? A uh, pearl, <laughs> pearl sheen on this um, ultramarine that I mix. This one it's kind of dominate. I will say, but different, totally different. I like both of the effects. But maybe I'm even happier with the first one. Because here is just kind of a little too much in a way for me, but interesting. Okay, look. The sides are most the most beautiful thing of this painting and I throw something I don't know what. Just one cup. Okay. So do you see the sides? I will try to write on a voiko. Na enko. Beautiful, this side is beautiful. Yeah? Uh, this is it! So two different, maybe I can 
Uh, put this back on that you will see me while I'm talking to you. Oh, okay. I hope that yeah. this is okay. Do you see me? You. <laughs> so, um, experiment again. I hope that you learned something about uh, lacing, cells, effects. So, definitely if you mix Vallejo to, to your paints, you can get every color to react in the way that we used to react our 24K K gold uh, that create this lacing effect. Um, I will probably... I love this um, green and uh, aqua and uh, blues here and black on top. I will probably with those three colors do that blowout that I did on my last painting because I I love these colors so much together. I will show you the dried results in some of my other videos because obviously I can't show it to you today. That's why I decided that I will not do uh, this little pig pigment stuck up pigs today because I it you know for with pigments you have to see the dry result if you want to see something from them um, but I will use them this week I hope that you learned something I definitely did if you have some <laughs> some suggestions how to fix the, this middle this one is kind of okay I'm, I'm just sad that I didn't maybe try on the first one do this before I, I sprayed my magic spray on. But I'm happy. <sighs> Thanks for watching and I'm so glad to be here with you live again. So next my next live will be first Sunday in June and my next video will be tomorrow like usual on Monday. So thanks for watching and love you all. See you. Bye.